It's Kate and I'm back with another scrapbook layout process video for HipKit. Uh, this week I am doing a product focus which I haven't done uh, up to date and I'm using my products that I'll be focusing on are the heart uh, cut file which you saw just at the start of the video there um, and mixed media. Um, so I have started with a white piece of Brazil cardstock and I before I started the video I cut out that gorgeous um, heart cut file just on another piece of white cardstock and just put that to one side. Um, and now I'm going to start working on some of my mixed media in the background. Um, so I tried a bit of a different technique with this. Um, usually I put white gesso on the back of my page with either a big paintbrush um, that tends to leave lots of paintbrush marks or I'll try and buff it in with my finger which gets a bit messy and then you're back and forward to the bathroom <laughs> to wash your hands. Um, so I thought well there's got to be a better way of doing it. Um, so I just had some old makeup sponges which worked really well. So I just put, I didn't put it on all of the page. I just put it roughly around where the heart cup file was going to sit. And I just, um, just rub that in with with the sponge um, and because they're any cheap little sponges you can just either you can wash them or just throw them away and just use another one for the next one um, so I dried that with my heat tool and for the mixed media I'm going to be using a combination of different uh, shimmers and inklings that we've had in this color kit um, which the kit that I'm using for this month is the uh, this is the January 2021 hip kit um, but some of the other colors we've got in recent kits as well um, so they're all from the hip kits um, there's a combination of the inklings that I'm using are the purple color is uh, precious posy and then I used Oki bear blue and meet me at sunset so that's the blue and the yellow and I sort of mix those together um, the shimmers there's a gorgeous the gold one is um a shimmers which is called christmas cheer which i used as well um so they're just activated with water and i'm just taking a tiny bit on my paintbrush and putting it on some packaging um just mixing it to get the color that i want adding a bit more water to make it a bit more fluid um and it's just a case of me just i put some down with the packaging um move it about to to where i like it i dry in between layers with my heat tool to make sure that the colors don't run and then i splatter 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 as much as i can to my heart's content so Okay, so I'm happy with the background now, so I'm going to move on to my picture. Um, so I've gone for a Valentine's theme on this layout, um, hence the heart cup file. So I picked a picture of my husband and I um, back where times were a bit more normal earlier, um, was well, still not completely normal, um, earlier on in the year when I managed to get out for a meal um, just in time for my birthday, which was good. Um, so I'm just going to mat that onto white cardstock and waste not want not I'm just going to use the excess that um, was left over from the cut file um, and I'm just going to place that on the right hand side um, now I'm just going to do there's a gorgeous 12 by 12 sheet there um, that's full of purple frames um, which is just absolutely stunning so I've picked some of those out and I'm just going to use those as layering pieces <laughs> So I just cut a frame for the top right hand side as well because I'm just going to use that as another focal point uh, within the layout. 
Um, so now I'm just, and you can't see because it's just slightly off shot, is I'm just rummaging through um, some of the gorgeous embellishments that we've got. Um, so the January 2021 hip kits are stunning again. Um, they really, really are. They're full of exclusives again, which I just find unbelievable that Kim and Kimberly can con continue to think of all these wonderful products uh, month after month. Um, but they've absolutely smashed it again. Um, so it's full of exclusives. The collection is called Dream Big. Um, so they all, all of the, the things that we've received in the kit work perfectly together um so all of i picked some floral embellishments um and ephemera that i'm going to use to layer around the picture um the there are some gorgeous chipboard pieces as well um so there's one there that says i think it says you make life better uh, it's brighter sorry um so i've pulled that out um and that looks really nice um, there's a full 12 by 12 sheet of those um, speech bubbles that have got all different signs in that would fit for many different layers as well. Um, so I've cut some of those out. I'm just going to do the title on, on underneath the, the top left hand side cluster there. Um, so I'm going to use the two alpha sets that were um, in the kit and they're both exclusives. Um, so I'm going to use the white smaller alphas um, to spell out the word amazing. And then there's some gorgeous purple ones that just match perfectly with the, some of the other embellishments that I've used. And what I'm also doing um, just when I finish that is I wanted to find some other floral pieces um, to cluster around the photo. Um, and there is a gorgeous 12 by 12. And I'm completely aware that I use the word gorgeous to explain nearly everything in this kit. But that is because they just genuinely are gorgeous, stunning, beautiful papers. Um, there's a 12 by 12 sheet that's just stunning <laughs> gorgeous beautiful amazing um that is the is part of the exclusive um kit with within uh january 2021 20, and the paper itself i'm trying to think what it's called um it's called fresh start um and it's a full 12 by 12 sheet um of lots of beautiful uh flowers and leaves that you can cut out and fussy cut um to your heart's content um so i just took that off camera and i um cut some of those out that's what you saw um, me doing there um, and what I've also done in the meantime is I decided that I wanted to keep some of the the parts where the flowers are on the cut file I actually wanted to keep those so that they were 3d and they weren't completely sucked down um, but I also wanted to add some interest to the rest of the cut file um, so I just took it through my sewing machine and just stitched the rest of the parts where where there aren't the flowers so the rest of the heart design I've just run that through my sewing machine <laughs> I'm going to have to apologize for this half of the video because this is where you see how skilled I actually am at making YouTube videos and how skilled I am at making sure that my setup's completely in shot and everything is going as it should be. Clearly, um, I have not done that and <laughs> half of the layout is now out of shot, um, which I really, really apologize for. Um, but I think you still manage to see most of, of it is what I'm doing. Um, so I fussy cut some of the other bits out of that piece of paper that I told you about. Um, but I still wanted to add a few other pieces. Um, so I decided to, one of the January cut files, um, so I opened it up on my silhouette software. And because I only wanted small um, floral leaves um, as such, I just used the cutting tool just to cut a small section of the cut file off and separate it from the rest of the cut file. Um, and then I cut that out on, I used that dark um, navy cardstock that's in the cardstock kit. And I also cut the same designs out on the light blue cardstock. Um, so just, just to, so as I could nestle in um, between the photos, as you can see me doing, um, just for a bit more interest. <laughs>
just to finish the layout, um, just because I thought it was looking too white and it needed a bit more colour, I just did my favourite um, technique where you just cut a corner out and fold the edges of the paper over um, and just put some a band of uh, coloured paper underneath. Um, so I did that there and I just use um, an ordinary stapler just to staple the edges um, and the staples just give a bit more added texture and interest to the page as well. Um, I did the same on the top of the layout and I just used a pink piece of paper um, and then I just went in with some journaling um, just to finish it off. I did decide after um, I finished filming that I wasn't, I still wasn't happy after I took the pictures and still didn't think that it looked, that you, you sort of lost the cut file in the background. So what I did um, after I stopped filming is I just took some of the Precious Posy inklings and I just measured, I just... Um, put some water in but made sure that it was still it wasn't too watered down so the colour was still quite vivid and I just painted that cup file um, and just painted it um, a purple colour and that just really made it pop and really finished it off nicely um, so thank you so much for watching guys I really appreciate it um, if you would like this video um, if you did like the content then I would appreciate that as well if you would subscribe it would make my day and I hope you have a lovely week guys and I will speak to you soon bye yeah.